Hey man, listen, life, oh my gosh. So check it out, right? In 2019, this same brother's girlfriend, who is also the mother of his child, her name was Petara Cordero. She was killed after she got struck by a car. Her death occurred shortly after the birth of their child. So he had a child that he was raising without the mom because the mother had been killed after she was struck by a car in an accident. Now that was 2019. Fast forward to today, 2023, former NFL player Chris Smith passes away on Monday at the age of 31, according to his agent. Now, according to MSN.com, Drew Rosenhaus was his agent. According to MSN.com, the house, the cause of his death has not yet been disclosed. Smith's passing came eight days after he had actually played in the XFL. I went and looked up what the XFL was. The XFL is actually a minor league compared to the NFL, which is major league. So it's still football and they still make good money playing in the minor league. He played in the NFL major league for quite some time before stepping down to the minor leagues. And he was pretty young as well. So the report says his death comes eight days after he played in the XFL game for the Seattle Sea Dragons. Not only was the defensive end on the field for Seattle's 34 to 33 loss on April 9th to the DC defenders, but he had two tackles in that same game. Smith has been in the XFL since he signed a deal with the Sea Dragons on March 9th of this year. Now, before going and joining the XFL, Smith had actually put together a solid eight year career in the NFL. His rookie season came in 2014 when the Jaguars made him the fifth round pick out of Arkansas. Now, during his first year with the Jags, Smith was able to rack up three sacks, even though he only played in seven games. Hmm. After three years in Jacksonville, Smith moved to Cincinnati in 2017, where he arguably had the best season of his career. During his one year with the Bengals, Smith tied his career high with three sacks while also tallying a career high 26 tackles. Over the course of his career, Smith went also spending time with the Broncos from 2018 to 2019. Then he played with the Raiders from 2020, and then he played with the Texans 2021. Overall, he appeared in 72 games over eight seasons or eight years in the NFL before stepping down to the minor leagues. Many of Smith's former teammates offered their condolences on Twitter and on other social media networks, you know, just saying, damn. So the Browns also released a statement and it said that we're deeply saddened by the passing of our former Browns D.E. Chris Smith. Chris was one of the kindest people, kindest teammates, kindest friend that we've ever had in our organization. Our thoughts and our prayers are with him and are with his family during this difficult time. Now, Smith's death follows, like I said before, the tragic death of his girlfriend, who was also the mother of their child now while he was playing for the Broncos or sorry while he was playing for the Browns she lost her life when she was hit by a car Smith himself had actually pulled over on the side of the road because they had blown out a tire and a car came from out of nowhere and hit the car on the side that she was on and she passed away. We don't know what the cause is. We don't know what the cause is for her passing or for his passing. We don't know if it's suicide. We don't know. All we know is he's no longer here. 
So we'll wait to hear what the rest of this is going to be. And then we'll pass it on to you. 31, that's young. I hope it's not suicide. But that's a lot to stomach. Because he's probably thinking, maybe I should have pulled over in a more secured place. Blaming himself for his daughter being here with no mom. The pressures of being a football player and a full-time dad. I hope that wasn't what really happened. Stay tuned. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the bell next to the subscribe button. So when I update these stories, you're notified. And I'll catch you on the next video. I'm out. Peace.